at a time when kids are heading back to school. And the leaves will soon be falling. An unexpected turn in the temperature is making life difficult for millions of Americans. Oh my gosh, this is so hot. A massive dome of heat is making its way across the country. Temperatures in cities like Chicago, St. Louis, and Cincinnati were 10 to 15 degrees higher than normal, putting air conditioning units to a late season test. Once those temperatures hit above 80, 85, we start to get a lot of call volume from air conditioners breaking down. Today, it is the East Coast and Mid-Atlantic's turn to bake. It's definitely a struggle with not, you know, only getting to school and they have to come right back home. Schools in Philadelphia are planning for an early dismissal. To avoid kids sitting in hot classrooms, many without air conditioning. Why start before Labor Day every year if maybe the temperatures are rising each year? In New York City, the U.S. Open is preparing to give players additional breaks if the temperature goes above 86 degrees. And here in the nation's capital, filled with tourists getting in one last summer trip, temperatures are expected to reach as high as 100 degrees. And the city of Washington, D.C. is already preparing for the heat. They've declared a heat emergency that will begin at noon today. And the National Weather Service has issued a heat advisory for the 12th time for Washington, D.C. That's the most the nation's capital has experienced since 2005. Craig. Well, all right, Ryan Nibbles there in D.C. starting us off. Ryan, thank you. All right, Alice standing by with more on the heat and what's in store as we inch closer to the long holiday weekend. Good uh, morning. Well, good morning, guys, and good morning to you from the Mississippi River Valley into the northeast. 51 million people under heat advisories, heat warnings. We've got this big dome of high pressure that's pumping up that hot, humid air south of this cold front. So look at these temperatures. As you heard Brian talk about, they're going to get to about 100 degrees, but it's going to feel even warmer in Washington, D.C., 101 heat index in Nashville. Same in Indianapolis, 105 in Norfolk, New York City, going to feel close to 99. And we look at these potential record highs today from D.C., Raleigh, Chattanooga, out to Paducah, Columbus, Ohio, Morgantown. But south of the front, we've got, or north of the front, we've got this big area of high pressure bringing in much cooler air. We're going to be looking at temperatures. One day change. We're looking at today, Burlington, you're down to 73, Syracuse, 76, a nine degree drop in Detroit with a temperature of 87. We do have that front, though bringing some severe weather as the day rolls on. We're going to be watching this risk of severe weather today. 28 million people from Cleveland, Columbus, Pittsburgh on to Philadelphia. The good news is tornado risk low, but very windy and damaging hail is possible. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.